All right, we're going to get back to this problem then. So just to recap, we had 30% of all boys said yes, 73% of all girls said yes, and 67% of all students said yes. The ratio we found previously was that the ratio of girls to boys is 37 to 6. So there's 37 girls for every 6 boys. What we're trying to do now is we're trying to find the total number of students in the school. And what we could tell right now is that the number of girls and boys, 37 to 6, is going to give us a total of 43 students currently. But that doesn't really make sense. We need 67% of all students to say yes. But 67% of 43 is not a whole number. So what we have to do is take a brief step back and say, OK, this 30% of all boys, I could write as 30 over 100, which I could simplify down to 3 out of 10. So the number of boys, which we already knew had to be a multiple of 6, must also be a multiple of 10. Well, if they have need to be a multiple of 6 and simultaneously a multiple of 10, we need to find the least common multiple of 10 and 6. And in order to do that, the least common multiple of 10 and 6, we use the techniques from our previous course and find the least common multiple to be 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to create then, I'm going to create a new ratio here and that new ratio is going to be equal to the denominator of 30. Now the reason I want 30 boys, again, is that it has to clear both the percentage of boys that we started with and the ratio that we found, which would get us to the total. So there's 30 boys now. That means I've multiplied by 5. I need to multiply the top by 5 as well. 30 times 5 is 150. Add another 35, and I've got 185. So currently, we know it wasn't 43 total students, and right now we're at a total of 215 students. Well, let's kind of take a look at that. I have no idea whether that's correct or not, but we could check it. And if we check 67% of all students, we could multiply this by 0.67 and realize that that's still not a whole number. But we have guaranteed that the number of boys will work out. If there are 30 boys, 30% 30 of all the boys would be a whole number. In this case, a number 9. Now let's take a look at the girls. Currently we say we have 185 girls, and we know there are 73% of all girls had to say yes. 73% of 185, that's not working for us. It's not a whole number. So this number, this 73%, what we're going to do is kind of say, hmm, 73%, I could represent that as 73 over 100. Well, remember, the number of girls had to be a multiple of 37, and simultaneously a multiple of 100. Now, we've already brought a piece into play here because we multiplied top and bottom by 5. So now I need to be a multiple of 185 and a multiple of 100 all at the same time. And in order to do that, since I already brought in one multiple of 5, I need to multiply top and bottom by 20. The reason I need 20 is to guarantee that this new piece will be a multiple of 100. If I'd multiplied by 10, I'd have 1,850, and that's not a multiple of 100. So I need to double that, and that'll be the smallest number possible. So now, what is this going to equal? Well, 3 times 2 is 6, and a couple of zeros at the end gives us the 600. This is a pretty big school. There's now 600 boys. All right, and up here on top, if we take a look, I'm going to be multiplying 2 times 185. Well, 2 times 100 is 200. 2 times 80 is another 160. That's 360, and add another 10 gives us 370. Which, if you think about it, the LCM of 37 and 100 is 3700. 
So if I started here and multiplied by 100, I'd end up over here at 3,700. So again, we knew it wasn't 215. The 67 total, we could kind of say, well, let's take a look at that. 67 total can be represented as 67 out of 100. The total number of students then has to be a multiple of 100. And if I check this here, 3,700 plus 600 is 4,300. So this is the smallest number of students in the school. End result, 3,700 girls and 600 boys for a grand total of 4,300 students. That's, there we go. So now if I want to kind of check that to see what those numbers actually turn out to be, I could. So let's kind of see what this is going to look like. So we're checking to see if these numbers here will actually solve the problem. Now that we think we have it, we can guarantee if we reduce this by anything less, it still has to be a multiple of 37. Any multiple of 37 less than this is not going to preserve the ratio, not going to simultaneously be a multiple of 10 for the boys, a multiple of 137 for the girls, and a multiple of 100 for the total. So let's check this. 3700 times 0.73 gives us 2701. All right. Well, now let's check it for the boys. There's 600 boys, and 30% of them Well, that's going to be 180. Now, if I add that together, I should get 67% of all 4,300 students. So if I check myself, 4,300, 67%, that gives me 2,881. And if you check, add those together, it works out. Now, it's your turn. So get back, try another problem, work through one of the ones on the test, or change the numbers to whatever you would like. Just make sure that this number is between the two that you choose, and you're guaranteeing that there will be a solution, there will be a ratio, and there will be a minimum number of students. All right, off you go.